Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink and finally got a chance to play along with the Coffee Lovers blog hop. They do these every once in a while. Um, I will have a link to it in my blog post and they've got all the info on there because it's it's open to everyone but there's there's a lot of information so I'll just post a link to it in my blog post which is linked directly below um, the video. So I decided to make obviously a coffee themed card, one for my little coffee series and two for the blog hop and three finally knocked off this stamp set from my to-do list that's been sitting for way too long. This is the Create a Smile Coffee First stamp set and it's super cute. And I stamped the to-go cup here from the set onto some craft cardstock and I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I ended up stamping it three times. I just did the third one off camera, but I stamped it onto craft cardstock, the whole mug. And then I stamped just the heart area on to a scrap of craft cardstock. And then I stamped the lid onto white cardstock. I'm planning on doing a bunch of paper piecing, which I have not done in forever. And I'm using my Copic markers just to color the areas that I'm going to need. There's no point coloring any of the other areas because they're either going to be cut out or covered up. So for the lid, I just used a light gray colored um, Copic marker. I will have all the colors listed on my blog. And then once I was done coloring everything, I decided on um, the pattern paper I wanted to use. I decided to make the little like coffee wrap on the mug out of pattern paper. So I stamped the mug three more times onto some of this pattern paper. This is from the Echo Park Fall is in the Air 6x6 pack that I love. So I chose one of the smaller patterns because it's a smaller area that I'm cutting out. So I stamped that three times with the same black ink and then I'm going to get to trimming all of these pieces out which didn't take very long because an image like this it's basically all straight lines other than the hearts and even those didn't take very long. Um, it's just simple simple cuts. So I did everything at once you know I did all the stamping at once I did all the coloring at once and now I'm doing all of the cutting out at once and I chose to do three of these because as I was like starting on this card I was like oh I'm going to use two on the front and then I have to have an extra one to finish off the inside. So I started trimming everything off and I did the lids on white cardstock because I really wanted that to pop a little bit more and it made it look a little more realistic because the lids are generally white. So trimmed everything um, out with my detail cutting scissors, These are just my little cutter bees that I've had for eons. And then once I was done with all that, I took my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker and just ran the edge of the marker along the edge of all of these pieces. That just covers up that um, exposed edge of cardstock and it just finishes it off. With an image like this, it's not as important. Um, I find it works really well though when I'm doing paper piecing on like little images of people and their clothing and those sorts of things. Um, it just really gives it that finished edge, especially if you didn't cut it out perfectly. But even for this, it does just, it just finishes it off just enough. So I quickly went over all of these pieces with that marker. You just do a light little basic scrape of the marker along the edges, completely covers it in the black marker and you're good to go. And then I got to adhering all of these pieces. So I adhered the pattern paper to those craft coffee cups and then I adhered the lid on top of that. And then finally adhered the heart on top of um, the pattern paper. So I've got this fun multi-dimensional image here of the to-go cup, which I just, I loved. I was so happy when I did this. It was so much fun. <laughs> so I did that and then I die cut one of the solid papers from that same pack with one of the My Favorite Things. Um, this is the stitched hexagon stacks dynamics. And then I trimmed down um, one of the other pattern papers just with my paper cutter. And then the leaf pattern I die cut with the largest die from the Simon Says Basic Rectangles. And then for my sentiment, I decided to stamp it on vellum with Simon Says Clear Ink and I treated the vellum with some anti-static powder first and then stamped the, the coffee word with that um, clear ink. And then I'm using the Wow Metallic Gold Rich Pale Embossing Powder and heating that up with my heat tool. And when heating on vellum, it does not take very long at all. Like literally just a few seconds, you heat it until it's just melted and then remove the heat tool because you do not want to scorch the vellum. And then while I was doing that, I decided to stamp another one of the sentiments from the set. Just, this is some brick red cardstock from My Favorite Things. So I did the exact same thing. Treated it with the anti static powder tool, stamped the sentiment with the clear ink, and then embossed it with the same embossing powder. And I always do this over a coffee filter, which was even more fitting because it's a coffee card. <laughs> so funneled that back into the container and set that aside. And then I ended up deciding to use one of the smaller rectangle dies and made this leaf pattern paper just a little bit smaller because I wanted it... 
um, the border of the actual card base to show. So I die cut that and then figure out where I was going to place everything and realize I'm going to have to start trimming things down since I'm working with a smaller piece of pattern paper. So I kind of figured out how I was going to do my little layout here. And once I was happy with that, I'm just adhering them into place. And I'm just going to flip this over and use the edge of that main rectangle there as my guide to just trim off those pieces that were hanging over the edge. So once I did that, I figured out where I'm going to place the sentiment hold that in place and then fold over the edges of the vellum there and then I just use my Teflon bone folder to really press that down and then I just tape those into place with a little bit of scotch tape and then to adhere the coffee mugs um, I wasn't sure at first I was just going to adhere everything flat make this kind of a, just a flat and simple card but then as I was looking at it right there I was like it would look better if it was popped up a little bit so before pressing that down, it didn't matter. There was, you know, the liquid adhesive that Tombow Mono Malt, he's just going to dry. So I just popped the foam tape right on top of that and then popped that into place. And then since I had that little strip still saved from that last set of those little mini cards I made, um, that just came in handy. So I decided to use that on the back of this part of the sentiment and adhered that into place. And then I have these little embellishments that are from the Create a Smile website. I was going to use all three from that pack, but then in the end decided to just use this one with the little to-go cup. So I adhered that into place with some multimedia matte adhesive and just kind of held it down while it dried so that it, because it was half over that vellum too. So I wanted to make sure that stayed in place so it was fully adhered. And then I um, put more foam tape on the back of that pattern pa paper piece and then adhered that to my card base, which is craft cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11 and squared at five and a half. So it's a top folding A2 sized cards, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I had a frame left over from die cutting that leaf pattern paper in the beginning. Since I cut it to make it smaller, I saved the frame. I've shown this on other videos. I love this to finish off the inside of my card. I just adhered that frame to the inside of the card and then adhered that third coffee cup. And that just finished off the inside of the card. And I was gonna leave this as is, but I had to add one more bit of embellishment so I pulled out my glossy accents and coated the hearts on the cups um, on the front of the card just to give it that little bit of extra gloss and shine. And then I set that aside to dry and that finished off my card. So like I mentioned earlier, I will have a link to the Coffee Lovers blog hop in my blog post. I will also have the pictures in my blog post, the pictures of the Copics used. Um, links to all the supplies. All that info will be in the description box below the video to my blog post. So check that out below if you are interested. And then here at the end of the video, I'll also have links to two other videos in my coffee card series. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.